Well, hello, good people. Today, I'm going to walk you through on how to install Swarm UI, previously known as Stable Swarm. Long story short, the developer MC Monkey Forever, he's doing his own thing now and has separated from Stability AI, but continuing this project as Swarm UI. And one of the main reasons why I want to show you how to use this because it supports SD3 medium and also all the PixArt models like PixArt Alpha, Sigma, and there's also a new PixArt base model that was released on Civit just the other day. So this is a great interface to experiment with other models. Now what you see on the screen is an example of the layout and obviously you're going to see that once we go through the installation. But one of the things that makes this quite unique is that it has Comfy UI as a backend and Swarm UI is the front end. So we're going to scroll down and I encourage you to read through all of this. If you choose to run it on Collab or RunPod, there are directions on how to do that. But today we're going to install it under Windows 11. Now, if you're installing this under Windows 10, it's a little bit different. You would have to use this alternative method and it would require a couple extra steps through this link. You just download it, run it, and just click next through all the steps. You also want to set up .NET and make sure to get the SDK 64 for Windows version. Again, you would just click this, run it, and then you would copy this line here, go to the drive where you want to install it. In this case, it would be my D drive, or you can create a separate folder. Go into the address bar here, simply type in CMD. It's going to call up your terminal window. And then you would type in or paste git clone and paste that link right there. Hit enter and that's it. It's going to do the installation for you. So if you're on Windows 10, follow those steps. Now, before we do the install for Windows 11, those of you that are in Linux, there is support for Linux. There's also support for installing it on a Mac. I can't speak on how it performs by using Mac or Linux. You'd have to figure it out yourself. And as far as I know, it does run on AMD. Again, I'm not too sure how it performs. Now, for those of you on Windows 11, just simply click on this link here. It's going to download this file here called installwindows.bat. So navigate to the drive where you want to install it. So in my case, it's my D drive. I'm simply going to just click on save there. And now you see the install icon right there. We're going to go ahead, double click that. If you get this notice, click on more info, run anyway. It's totally safe. It's very common that happens when you're installing anything stable diffusion. So it's going to go through this whole process. It's going to download some dependencies. It's going to notify you to download SDK 8. Just click on yes. Then you see that it's going to install. So depending on your system, this could take a few minutes. Just sit back, let it do its thing, and wait for the installation to finish. After a couple minutes, you're going to get this notice in your browser. And you're basically just going to accept the license terms. So we're going to click on agree. I encourage you to read it if you're not too sure about it. Here we want to select just install. You can always customize things later. And then it'll tell you that you've selected modern dark for your theme. The UI is personal. In the back end is Comfy UI. It's going to install it for you, assuming you don't have it installed. And by default, it's going to download SDXL as your default model. So we'll go ahead and click Yes, I'm sure install. And then you'll see the progress information down below. Once again, just chill out, lean back, listen to some music, have some coffee, whatever floats your boat. And in case you're wondering, no, you don't have to download Python or anything like that. That's the good thing about this installer. It takes care of all those things. Now, I like how this installer walks you through all the steps. You see here, it's been downloading the Comfy UI backend. It's extracting it here. Now it's enabling it. Now it's downloading the model. And it tells you here how far along you are. So we're on the last step here, step 707. And it's just about six and a half gigs uh, that'll eat up on your hard drive. Once it's installed, you'll see the interface here. Now, before we test it and make sure it's working, go back to where you've installed Swarm UI. Go into the Swarm UI folder. If you need to update Swarm UI, there's an update Windows bat icon here. You would double click that to do any updates. I don't have to do it since it's a fresh install. But what I like to do is find the launch icon for Windows. You see this one here, launch Windows bat. If you're on any other platform like Mac or Linux, you can right click over these 
and save them on your desktop. So we're going to right click over launch Windows Bat, show more options, and then we're going to click on send to desktop to create a shortcut. That way you don't have to come back into this folder all the time to launch. And here's the launch icon. Every time you want to use Swarm UI, just double click this. Now, if you want to give it an icon, you can always right click, go into properties, select change icon, and then you can choose any one of these default ones that come with Windows, or you can even create your own. I'm just going to use this start one and then click apply, click OK. And now you see this icon is there. I can double click that to start swarm. Now back to the interface here, I'm just going to generate one image, 30 steps and CFG of six. We'll do one by one ratio and leave everything else. And I've just typed in here, cute dog. We're going to generate. And by the way, if you click on models down here, this is where all your models will be located. And you can click on the drop down here. I've only got the one model so far. We're going to install more in a bit. We can collapse using this arrow. There's a collapse arrow here as well. And this image panel can be collapsed manually. And uh, <laughs> as we look at this cute little dog, we see all the information, the prompt, the model used, the seed, the steps, so on and so forth. Okay. So it's a pretty simple interface. It's really easy to use. If I open up this panel, you see we have, you know, our sampling info here. We can do image to image with init image. This is where our refiner and upscale area is. Control nets. We haven't downloaded the models yet, but we'll do that in another video. And it can also do video using stable video diffusion. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on how to do that. Now, if you're wondering where everything is, if you click on server at the top here and go into server configuration, you see that this is where all the folders are model root. The checkpoints are going to models, stable diffusion. This is where the lores will be via ease embedding, so on and so forth. So if you go back into the swarm UI folder, you will see that this is my models folder. And within the models folder, those paths lead to here. So our control nets, our embeddings, our lores, our checkpoints. If I open that up, there's another folder here called official stable diffusion. And then we see the SDXL base model here. So if we're going to install SD3, PixArt, any of the fine tuned models, you want to bring them into this area. Also, if you go back to the main swarm UI folder, the output folder is where you're going to find all your images. So you see it's by date. If I open that up, you see a couple images here that are in. So you can change all that by changing the path here. Just be very sure that you're putting in the exact path. If you're not too sure how to write it, just click on the question marks here and it's going to give you some directions on how to properly put your path. So congratulations, you've installed Swarm UI. And the great thing about this is that you can now use SD3 PixArt, any fine-tuned SDXL model, SD 1.5, and I'm going to do a series of videos on these separate models on how to install them, starting with SD3. So if you want to try out SD3 or PixArt, let me know in the comments below, or check out any one of these videos that will show you how to install them. If they're not up, that just means I'm editing them. Until next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.